Okay, so this is how to make the cone, the last assignment in the quarter. And uh, this, if you look at the bottom of the canvas assignment, you'll notice that there's the old style of how to put text on a cone. The emboss tool allows us to skip that. So this is the end result of my cone. I got the text, I got the SVG logo, and I'll show you how to make one. Let's make a new design. So the first thing is pick your base and you're going to make the base of the cone as big as you want to make it. So make a circle. I'll make mine 150. Okay. And that's going to be the bottom of the cone. And we're going to extrude it upward. So press E and we're going to extrude it to the height that we want the cone to be. So the biggest cone you can make is 200 millimeters because our printer is limited to 20 and you want that little buffer at the top so they don't get jammed up. All right, so right now it's a cylinder, but if you come over here, you'll notice it says taper angle, and that's how the edges are gonna be brought in. So if you make your tape, taper angle five, it's out, 10, out. Well, if you want it to go in, then just make it negative five or negative 10. And continue until you have the shape of the cone that you want. If you go too high, it just starts basically closing it off like you can make it negative 25 it doesn't work okay so I'm gonna go negative 18 uh, actually I think I'm gonna do negative 16 all right so there we got my cone pretty easy now we're gonna use the shell command that we've learned so modify and shell and we're just gonna shell out the cone and two millimeters seems to work pretty well to wrong side I'm gonna shell out the top surface there we go that's the one we want to shell out Shell out the top surface at two millimeters. All right, boom. So now you have a hollow cone. And for reasons that I don't understand, sometimes the bottom just dis stays solid uh, because it's technically part of the shell. I think that's why. Um, so let's get rid of the bottom. Just click the bottom, extrude, and then bring it up negative two, and it'll drop. It'll take the bottom out. Okay, so. I don't know why it, it proper, properly shells out the top, but not the bottom. Okay, now we have a hollow cone, which is great. That's what we want. So now we're gonna use the uh, offset plane, like you've learned how to do with the koozie. Select a surface, any old surface will do, as long as it's the same, uh, it's like where the cone is. So there's our surface, there's our offset plane, and then we're gonna put text on that offset plane. So I'm gonna create a new sketch on that plane and a text box on that surface. Here's a text box, make a text box, anything you want. Woot, I'm a cone, boom, all right. And again, whatever shape, font, size you want, click okay. So now you got your surface ready to go and you got your text ready to go you can use your emboss tool choose the text that you want as the profile for the face choose the cone and it's going to slap it on there and you can move it around all you want um, you can move it up and down on the cone you can extrude it out however many millimeters you want um, i went with two because that gives you a pretty good em uh, deboss or emboss one millimeter is fine too and okay and now my text is on the cone. Woot, I'm a cone. Okay, so now that you've done that, you can do your SVG. Uh, I'm gonna put mine on the other side. You can put yours above it or below it, it doesn't matter. So just like before, get ourselves an offset plane. I'm gonna pull this plane out here. There we are. Now we're ready to drop something on the plane. So I'm gonna insert SVG. I downloaded one a while back. Just gonna stick that on the plane right there. And the SVG is itty bitty bitty, which is hilarious, so I'm gonna make it bigger. Stretch, make it bigger, there we go. There's our SVG, click okay. And then just like before, let's use our, let's finish our sketch so it's floating out there, that's fine. Let's use our emboss tool again. Again, we're gonna put it, there's our profile that we want and the face is gonna be the cone, and it's gonna slap it on the cone. We can move it around however we want. Does not matter. And click okay, and I've got it extruded one millimeter out. There's my SVG. Okay, boom.
right, so the very last thing we're gonna use on our mini megaphone is we're gonna put a torus, which is gonna create a donut right on top. A torus is literally a, a three-dimensional ring, it's a donut. So come up to create and torus, and we want to put it on the same surface as the top of the cone, so that works. And then we're gonna center it in the middle of the cone, and we're gonna stretch it. And it's gonna be like, are you sure you wanna make it like that? Well, we don't wanna cut, we wanna join. And that's gonna create our torus. So you can change the inner diameter, so make it smaller, and then the thickness. So you can make it gigantic, I don't recommend it because it's gonna be hard to print, especially because now it's not touching the cone anymore. So I'll make mine 35, and I think we're gonna make my torus a little bit thinner at eight. Okay, and now I got a ring on the top of the cone. So that's how you make your, make your mini megaphone. Cone from the circle and the extrude, and then get your, yourself some text in your SVG, use your offset planes, and then use the handy emboss tool. All right.